This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, a girl ran three miles in 20 minutes. If she decreases her velocity by half, how long will it take her to complete an 18 mile race? So in order to solve this one, we're gonna use the distance formula that is distance equals rate times time. Uh, the first thing we have to determine is her velocity or her rate, that's unknown. That said, we do know that she can run a distance of three miles. Uh, we're solving for r in 20 minutes. Now, as far as the distance formula is concerned, we always want things to be in terms of miles per hour. Uh, in other words, we want this time to be in terms of hours, not minutes. So I'm gonna convert 20 minutes to be in terms of hours by dividing it by 60, since there are 60 minutes in an hour. Cross out these corresponding zeros. This becomes 2 sixth. Divide this by a common factor of two. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 20 minutes is the same thing as one third of an hour. So this becomes 3 equals r times 1 third. And let me rewrite this so it's very clear. 3 equals uh, 1 third r. Now let's solve for r. To do that, we have to clear 1 third in front of r by multiplying both sides of the equation by 3. This crosses out here, leaving with just r on this side. Three times three is nine. So we know she runs at a rate of nine miles per hour. That said, it says right here for the 18 mile race, she decreases her velocity by half. So what is half of nine miles per hour? Well, that's gonna be nine over two, all right? So this is the velocity at which she runs the 18 mile race. And we're gonna use another iteration of the distance formula to determine how long, which is in reference to time, it's gonna take her to complete that race. Again, the race is 18 miles. Uh, we know her rate is nine over two miles per hour. And we're gonna be solving for T. To solve for T, we have to clear this nine over two in front of T. And to do that, we're gonna multiply both sides of this equation by the reciprocal of uh, nine over two, which is two over nine. This crosses out here and here, leaving you with T on this side. What is two over nine times 18? We'll write 18 as a fraction by placing it over one. Cross reduce, nine goes into nine one time, nine goes into 18 two times. This is two over one, which is two times two over one, which is two. Two times two is four. In other words, it's gonna take her B four hours to complete the race.